All right, it's the middle, John Hagloff with the Middleborough Gazette here, and we are here with uh, local band Riley Coyote, uh, all natives of Middleborough, and they just came up with their f second music video for a song called Feel Like Going Home, and uh, the, a lot of the footage was filmed here in Middleborough a couple of years ago, and they finally just got the video together. It came out two weeks ago, and it's been making the rounds on Facebook, and a lot of folks in Middleborough are checking it out because it's got some scenes in Middleborough, some familiar uh, places in Lakeville as well, and uh, they're here to tell you a little bit about it and what they got going on this summer because uh, they got a full schedule coming up. So, um, yeah, guys, what was the uh, sort of uh, inspiration and in, in the beginnings of this song and, and how it kind of related back to the video and tied back to your hometown of Middleborough? All right, well, um, like you said, we're all from Middleborough originally, and uh, the song is kind of like almost like an anthem for us um, because feel like going home. Uh, the, it's kind of like that's the feeling of the band in general is that, uh, you know, we're all from the same hometown and um, yeah, it was good to uh, film the video for the song too in the in that town, so. Cool. Anyone else got anything to add about that? What, what, what was the uh, filming of that? You guys filmed in a couple local locations. You want to talk about some of the locations that were, was filmed at? Yeah, um, we basically just took like a whole day and our friends who do the video work, Adam Pelletier and Greg Connors, we drove around with them to a bunch of different spots around town and just played, played the song at a bunch of places and also some footage at a couple of our shows. Uh, but it was a fun day just driving around and filming stuff around Middleborough and Lakeville and, and then we edited that with the shows that have our friends there and some family members and came out really good in the end. Yeah, it came out really nice. Uh, yeah, there's some local spots at Town Hall and uh, I think in between the lakes over in Lakeville, Long, Long Point Road, is it? That's yeah. right. Yeah. And uh, Oliver Mill. Yeah. There was a lot of other places that we filmed at that didn't make the cut. Oh, really? Including the Town Hall. Including the well, Town Hall. There's like a quick shot of us in the lawn. Walking. That's true. Okay. We basically had that no... Row. Yeah. Row. Yeah. Row. Yeah. yeah. We had no idea what to do, so we just thought we'd film us playing in all of the coolest places in Middleborough. Awesome, awesome. And uh, I also, we just found out just a few minutes ago upon meeting you guys that this is, this very spot is where you played your first show? Second, second. show. Second show, I'm sorry, okay. Close first enough. sounds better though. Let's yeah, go. No, yeah, all right. first or second, this is one of your... First, first show we liked playing. First yeah. show wasn't as eventful. Okay. Yeah. So we played actually, it was a fundraiser gig that we played here, it's called Carm Fest. Um, that our friends put on and we were the second to last band I think that played. We were fairly new and we all dressed up um, <laughs> and we looked very different than everyone else uh, but it was really one of our first times out on this stage right here. Um, lots of friends, family came out to support us and we kind of I think fell in love with playing at that point or playing together anyway and have continued since. That was November 2010. That's very cool. Wow. Yeah. It was our second show, but it was our first Real show. coherent show. Yes. <laughs> first show where we sounded like a band. The first yeah. time it was worth playing again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that way you caught the bug, yeah. so yeah. to speak. Yeah. Cool. Um, and just, you want to, uh, you know, I, I think we talked about a little bit earlier, but just uh, not to classify it, but what, 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 do we, what do you guys have to say about your sound? It's a little bluegrass, a little folk, a little old timey we talked about, you know. And, did I just yeah. answer your own question? I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Cover all the bases. Yeah. I mean, we, we kind of, um, we go to this bluegrass festival in the summertime, so uh, all of us have been going there, and uh, me and Jim have been going, and then Kristen started going, and um, after that, during the summertime, we kind of just started playing, messing around with bluegrass music. It was Jim and Riley, and then they invited me to come play. We were just playing by a campfire, and then we got Joe to join us playing, so it really just started out like that as, fun playing old traditional bluegrass music and then it just like kept going from there so it's bluegrass but we had our own influences in and um, we were trying fun. to be a bluegrass band yeah. okay <laughs> perfect I think, I, I think the other thing is that everyone writes oh, great. not as much as everyone else um, but everyone writes their own songs so it's more fiddle heavy I think if I write something or you know lyrics I think are a little different I think Joe sometimes uh, Tumno over here sounds more like he has a rock influence, which makes it really cool because it picks things up. Cool. Um, everyone has their own kind of influence and sound, and I think you can kind of tell awesome. as we shuffle through our set list. 
Cool. And what do you guys got coming up? Uh, spring and summer, outdoor music time. I imagine you guys are a good fit for outdoor kind of festivals and playing out in the sunshine. Just yeah, tell us so a little about what you got coming up this big summer. The thing is June 2nd, right? Yeah, our next show is June 2nd, and it's actually our CD release. Uh, so we did, we're doing two CD release shows. We did one in Plimpton. The second one is at the Unitarian Church where we recorded the album. Yep. Uh, the, the CD came out at the same time as the video, so it's kind of an album release show at the church, uh, June 2nd at 7 p.m. And um, then after that is June 16th at oh, exactly. Rye Tavern in Plymouth. And that's the outdoor by the fire pit, outdoor bar, that's a cool place. Um, and then we got Soul Homestead, July, July 28th. 28th, Saturday, July 28th. Okay. And folks can get the new music uh, when? It's coming out or it's available? Yeah, yeah the yeah. CDs are available at our shows and it should be on iTunes in the next week or so. Okay, um, so probably by the time this comes out, it should be up there. Um, CD Baby. Yep, we're on Facebook, so you can find us there. And it's on CD Baby as well. Okay, and we owe a little shout out to the Unitarian Church for giving you their sanctuary to record. Definitely, it cool. was a, it's a great space with a really cool sound, and they let us go there seven or eight times by the time we were done. So uh, it took us a while, but we finally finished it, and we're happy with it. And yeah, we're lucky they let us do that. Okay, cool. And we'll add a little shout out to the uh, good folks in Middleborough who let us use uh, Town Hall, uh, the Town Hall Ballroom, on very very short notice today. Uh, we pulled this all together. Um, made a couple of emails and we were told go for it, no worries, have fun. Uh, so that was very cool. We thank uh, uh, the folks who, who we talked to. We won't mention them by name, but thank you again. And uh, we're going to have uh, Riley Coyote play their soon to be hit song. Very catchy. I uh, feel like going home. And uh, we'll have the video attached to this, uh, the original video. And then we'll have these videos uh, of a couple of more performances attached to. Uh, our story that will be out in the Middleborough Gazette this Thursday. Thanks, guys. Take it away. Thank you.
Briley Coyote, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, guys. That was great. Thank you. Thank you.